is in this video we're going to talk about the WordPress function called comments template. So if you look at Codex, we can see that the common template function basically loads the common template uh, file. Okay, uh, in case if you specify what common template file you want, then it will load that file. Otherwise, by default, it's going to load the comments.php file. Okay, so I'll show you the example and then we can discuss further about this. All right, so I'm into my uh, page.php of of my theme which is into the root directory of my theme okay and um, here's the function that I've called so I've called this function in page.php is also a, a, a single page file so it's a template for displaying all pages uh, okay so over here I'm checking if comment open uh, function get comment number okay and uh, if either of this is true which means if there are comments inside of the uh, for the post okay then go ahead and use the common template uh, function to include the comments.php file or the user given file so in this case because I've not used any parameter over here um, I've not specified any parameter it's just going to include the comments uh, .php file by default as you can see here okay so file is basically the file to load or by default it comments.php okay so I have my comments.php into my theme okay which is here this file right here okay so this is going to include this particular file okay and um, if you go ahead and check this function is not going to work on the uh, uh, pages which are not a single page okay so if you click on one of these pages let's say the first one if you scroll down here is the comment template uh, codes that have been displayed over here the content that's been displayed over here um, I have used this echo template start and template and just for demonstration purposes so you can see what content is being displayed over here so you can see template start and template end and inside of it this is the content that you see which says you know the picture the of the admin uh, the user and the date and everything and edit and all of these content is coming from that particular file so if you check this is the div comments and you have everything inside of it the common title common list etc comments are closed all of this information is coming from there okay so it says that this will not display the comments template if not on a single post or a page so it has to be uh, called within a single page so as this is a single page template uh, which is used for displaying all the pages which is why this function is going to work otherwise it's not going to work on other pages okay um, this has to be a single post or a page uh, and this common template will not do anything if the post does not have any comments the reason why is because First, we are anyways checking if the uh, you know there are comment inside of this uh, post, and second, if you check this function which is defined in comments template dot php which is in wp includes the very first thing we are checking over here is single or is page or with comments. If any of these is true, uh, sorry, uh, if any of these is not true, then return, which means you know this is the rest of the code will not execute uh, in the function definition. So it has to be a single page or it has to be, you know, a page uh, or it has to have the comments. Okay, so that's what, what, that's what we're saying over here. And uh, uses the WordPress database object to query for the comments. The comments are passed through the comment array filter hook with the list of the comments and post ID respectively. And the file path is passed through a filter hook called comment template. Okay, so the path if you see, I'll show that to you. Right here. Okay, you can see this is the path. Filters the path to the theme template file used for common template. Okay, so it filters the path uh, in case if there are any custom, uh, you know, comments template, then it's going to include that. Otherwise, by default, it's going to include the comments.php of the theme. So this is what is being said over here that the file path is passed through a, a filtered hook called comments template so this common template is the hook okay which includes template path and file combined <coughs> okay uh, tries filtered path first 
which means in case if there are any custom functions that has been hooked into this particular hook uh, by the theme then it's going to look for that uh, you know function execute that function if that function filters this path and probably tries to include the uh, you know custom uh, file of the theme then it's going to include change this path over here and that's what will be included otherwise uh, it will just include the the uh, default by default uh, the common template from the default theme okay and if either does not exist then the wordpress process will be halted and just wait for that reason the default theme is not deleted okay uh, will not try to get comments if the post has none so this function won't work if there are no comments inside of the post okay and then the next is option these both are optional in fact the next one is the separate comments whether the separate comments by a common type or not so this is what we've already discussed all right so as you can see if you want to display the comments uh, template and include the comments.php or your custom ones uh, custom files for the comments then you can use uh, this particular function uh, and also hook on t into this hook and filter the path uh, to include your own custom type uh, comments section over here okay all right then see you in the next video take care bye bye